during the time of Lord Siddharth uh, Buddha, Siddharth Gautam Bhagwan Buddha, uh, there has been many incidences where many monks, even some householders, tasted nibbana or become uh, or tasted enlightenment for the first time um, just by listening to the words of Buddha, just by listening to the discourses of Buddha within few seconds. Uh, they tasted nibbana within few seconds you know they they enlighten they become enlightened at least first stage so now there will be a lot of confusion in people's mind that why is it happening that some people's meditating all their life and uh, still basically not able to achieve nibbanic stage or enlightened stage and some people basically can just taste nibbana by listening to buddha's words within few seconds see it's a very uh, it's, it's very easy to actually explain. Uh, let's say, for example, if I ask you one question, is it possible to buy your own private jet or uh, like say some expensive cars like Ferrari or Mercedes Benz or your own uh, private yacht without doing any hard work? Now, for most people, they have to basically work all their life. Or maybe even after working all their life, they may not be able to buy it. But yes, if you're born in the family of some super rich people, so for example, if you're born in the family of Mr. Warren Buffett or Mr. Amani's richest man of India, then yes, it's possible for uh, to buy you without doing any hard work. But even to born basically with all the richness, you must have done some very good karmas in the previous life. So you must have done some good donation of, you know, of dana, of money, and that's basically how you become rich actually in this life. So likewise, all those people who become enlightened within few seconds, all these people have done their hard work in countless previous life. So nobody basically can become, uh, you know, you see in this life within few seconds, they become enlightened, but actually they have done hard work for countless life, they have basically worked on the meditation technique to burn down all their impurities. They have done basically all the good, uh, you know, uh, danas. They have done all the, uh, collected all the good parmis. And in this very life, within few seconds, when the right moment come, uh, they become enlightened. So bottom line is there is no shortcut actually for success. Everybody basically has to work hard uh, to become enlightened. Um, it's not easy, but it is definitely possible for everyone. And all we have to do is basically burn our impurities and collect some good, uh, uh, collect parmis of good karmas. If you have any query, uh, please feel free to write it in the comment section. Or if you have any other question, feel free to send it uh, by the comment sections. Thank you very much for watching it.